it is adventure time yet again. Um, I got back yesterday evening from a trip where I took people hunting. I have an extra day before I have to go back to work. So I am going on a day hike in the UNS to a pretty decent brook trout lake. I have been to this particular lake in about six years, but it's, a, it's kind of a slow action lake, but it, has, it kicks out some nice brook trout. I'm hoping I get into some. It's, hikes a little farther than what I would normally do for just a day hike, but I got up really early, the sun's not even up yet, and I don't know, hopefully I get into some fish, so hike involves quite a bit of uphill, but I don't know, it should be fun, so glad you're tagging along. Well, I'm about to start my hike, got, I don't know, probably take me a couple hours to get to where I'm going, so I don't have a day pack, I should be able to boogie along pretty quick. Um, yeah, uh, I've caught some decent brook trout in this lake, but it's, I haven't been there in several years, so. But I, I hope I get into a few. Uh, I had a, got a report that it's producing nice ones right now, so. I'm going to go find out. So, here we go. Well, oh, halfway done my hike now. I got to go up, up, up and get over that. It's a butt kicker, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh. Oh, I'm getting pretty close. Just up over this next ridge. I don't know, like a quarter mile, but after that it's easy sailing, so. I'm almost there, so. Looking forward to it. Well, there she is. Yeah, I'm sweaty. But I made it, so. And I hope I get into some. I'm gonna have to get rid of this heavy sinking line. If I should have just seen her shallow. Add a balance bruise leech on to start. Drag the bottom, but I got a, I've only seen two good fish. And one of them just followed it in and take it. So I have switched back to a scud. I've seen a handful of like this two year old fish, but that's not why I'm here. I'll take them, but I'm going to get the ones that are four or five years old. Oh, ooh. Dang it, I had to take just while it was sink sinking. Ah, oh, geez. Just dropping this pink scud in little pockets. This chunky little brook trout on a pink scud. All right, this, he's a solid. This is the second generation. There's actually even old, bigger ones that are two years older than this, I believe. That's a solid brook trout, though. I'm happy with that guy. A chunky little guy. Yeah, come here, dude. Yeah, that is a solid brook trout. Very nice for the U-inches. That is a solid, that is a nice brook trout for the U-inches. So, yeah, this is a second generation. I've been seeing tons of little ones. These guys and a couple of the big boys that I'm after. Anyways, let's let this guy go. And the pink's good. There you go, dude. Come away. Thank you. Now I'm soaking wet. There we go. Oh, nice. What a nice day. Solid little brook trout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
very well built for for the Yuenas. Very nice. And the pink's good. It's kind of fun, all these lily pads. You just sit there and dab your scud. They're just sitting there in the shade. I'm doing it blind mostly because I haven't seen a lot. Chill out, man. I will let you go. There's a pretty brook trout. Nice little male. I love brook trout. Love them. We're going to do sweet way. Thank you. I'm too late. Probably should put on my floating line. I'm just too lazy. Definitely don't need sinking tip here for the way I'm finding the fish. Super shallow there, sent near the lily pads. Switching to this balanced scud. I had a balanced leech and a, a balanced scud on uh, under an indicator. I, I dumped the leech in the indicator. I'm just gonna go with the little balanced scud. Take on a balanced olive gray scud. So when I set it just right here in the water, I was getting ready to cast a roll cast, and all of a sudden something on. It was right there in front of me, didn't see him. Another chunky little brook trout. Get the Oh, there he goes. Got up on his own. There he goes. Um, gosh, I've yet to hook one of those good ones. I've only seen two. Spooked the one. The other one just followed in the leaf and didn't take it. So. Like that, like all, like that one, like really solid, but they're 14 or 15 inches big, so they're significantly, uh, significantly better, bigger. So these are quite a bit bigger. Oh, I just got to take on a, a balanced scud. I'm just stripping it in ever so slowly. Came out, came out from underneath those uh, lily pads. And we'll take it. Yeah, it got really windy and I lost my visibility. So, what a lot of decent work out. Female, I think. Go here, buddy. Oh, I think. Oh, no. Oh, terrible release, but there he goes. Oh, well, I tried. Yeah, I'm going to use this to, been using this balanced scud, not balanced leech, I don't know why I said leech. So I'll knot it up. Ooh. I'm working pretty well. The good thing about the balanced scud, when you strip it as slowly, it it looks like a real scud because it swims upright versus the fast sinking scud flips upside down which doesn't seem to really matter they still take it but like this under indicator if you strip it ever so slow it just looks it looks really realistic as far as the way it moves so and right, i just switched up to this little micro balance leech tied with the arizona canadian black i was getting a lot i was getting takes on the balance scud i just i don't know figured what the heck i'm gonna try a little mini leech See if that'll do the trick. Of course, I get a take when I don't have the camera on. Before. Ooh. I just spooked this little brook trout, but I only saw about four feet, so we'll see if he'll take it. I'm guessing probably not. There we go. <laughs> nice. 
You don't get spooked, he went for the micro balance leech. I switched this micro balance leech and I haven't seen a fish since until this day. Sway, buddy, thank you. Well, got a boogie from this lake. It's getting pretty late in the day and I got a pretty far hike and I'm going to stop and try one other lake. Um, I ended up landing eight. I think I got six of them on film. My battery died when I was caught on the other side of the lake and so I, I caught two more that weren't big though. I didn't land any of the big ones I, I saw two that were like nice to, from like, geez, they'd be like six years old, I think, or five or six years old. I did not hook into one of them, unfortunately. But, well, I had fun. I did catch some chunky little ones that were like two or three years, or three year olds, I think. It was fun. Uh, the next lake has brook trout, and tigers, and I think cuts, but none of them get too big. So, anyway, it's been fun. So, here we go. Let's go to the next lake. Now it's time to go down. I'm tired. <laughs> First cast, get a, looks like a, a little tiger trout on a little micro balance leech. That was a slow, slow take. You can just see him slowly falling it up, like just ever so slowly. Pulling it up. Nice little tiger. Like he's missing. Uh, gill point. Pretty. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he might need some assistance. Yep. I can't have that. There you go. Thank you. This little shell, this little micro bat, that's each is brook trout just came and hammered. Just stripping it ever so slowly. It's pretty good brook trout. Little guy, he's pretty. Little male. There you go. Oh, Sorry, buddy. Thank you. I was just letting it sink. Just let down the line. Also, my line just starts going sideways. A little takes on this micro balance leech. this leech sink deep under this little shelf and cut this pretty decent brook trout for this lake actually. Nice little male. It's pretty gay.
He's a chunky little guy. He's got the broad back. Oh, can I get him good over here? There you go. Yeah, that's a nice little brook trout. Nice male. Oh, man, he's a... <laughs> Chill out, buddy. It's a solid, solid little male. Well, falls are starting to get like the spawn colors. Holy crap, that hook. There you go. Okay, nice, pretty male. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty male. Pretty, pretty. Oh my buddy, thank you. Yeah, I think that's about it. I gotta go. I gotta. Don't wanna be hiking back in the dark. I might try to catch one more, but then I gotta bail.